Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how I map my MIDI controllers to AUM in the iPad. Okay, so first I need to plug to connect the MIDI controller. I'm going to use this launch control to the iPad using this USB hub, power USB hub. Okay, so now um, we can check if the launch control is connected to AUM. We can cl click here and then go to MIDI control. This is the symbol for MIDI control. Click there and go to MIDI sources. As you can see, launch control is there. Now, if we unplug it and we go back to MIDI sources, launch control is no longer there. So, to be able to map it, you need to choose and select that, your the, the MIDI controller that you, you want to use for AUM, you need to use it as a MIDI source. So to do that, um, well, first of all, let me check if we have, yes, we have some, some audio there. So let's go to MIDI sources. And if I want to map something right now without choosing the launch control, as a MIDI source, for example, let's say I want to map the volume uh, control in Trick Track to this encoder. Normally, what you have to do is click on volume, then click on learn, and then touch the encoder, and that'll be it. But right now, nothing happened. As you can see, I'm not controlling anything because I haven't chosen uh, the MIDI the launch control as a MIDI source. So uh, let's use it. You can choose it as a MIDI source going to MIDI control right here, MIDI source, and you can see there is a little check right there. I don't know if you can see it, but that's check. And now we, we are ready to use the launch control as a MIDI controller for AUM. Now to map that, this encoder, to the volume fader or the volume control in trick track uh, you what you have to do is click on the channel name click on the midi control symbol and then you have the controls that you can map to the midi controller so let's map volume to this as you can see now the channel and the cc number changed and now I am controlling volume through my launch control. Now, control. Let's. Um, oh, I want to map the play button. Um, yeah, just the play one to this button. To do that, you have to click on settings. Go to media control. And then you have rewind, toggle play, and toggle record. So let's uh, map toggle play. You click on learn, and then touch the button you want to use to control it. So now, when I touch it, I can control uh, play. So let's go back to trick track. Uh, I also want to control in this. Um, in this channel, I also want to control the mute control, the mute button. So go back to MIDI control. To I select mute, click on learn, and then I'm going to use this button. Okay, 
And as you can see, you have the option to make it work as a toggle button or a control. And that is how a normal mute button works. You click and you push the button and it mutes it. You push it again and it unmutes the channel. Just like that. And you can also have it as kind of a gate thing. If you uh, turn off toggle, then it works like this. So yeah, as you can see now, it only mutes it as long as I press the button. Uh, as soon as I release the button, it unmutes the channel. Now we can also map controls in in the audio units. Let's add Tornado. So now, if I click back on the MIDI control, think you have this, it added the Tornado parameters option. You click there and then you can see all the parameters that you can control. As you can see, Tornado has a lot of them. So if you don't know Tornado, basically it's eight uh, effects and you can control them using these knobs. So I'm going to map these knobs. I'm going to map these knobs to my launch control. And to do that, I'm going to once again, click on the channel name, go to MIDI control, and then to Tornado parameters. And this control one controls the fader on the first effect, control two on the second effect, and so on. And now I also want to map the dictator in Tornado. The dictator basically changes all the... Um, you can randomize it and it changes all the parameters and the effects. Not all the parameters, all the, just the, the knob thing. Anyway, so let me use this um, preset. And uh, as you can see, I have each knob map to these encoders and the so that's how that works and finally I'm going to map a send bus. So to do that I'm going to make a send bus by clicking on bus send, send bus A. Here in the source I choose a mix bus from bus A and then I'm going to add a delay for dot station 2. So the first thing I'm going to map is how much send we are sending, <laughs> how much we're sending to the, um, to this send channel. And so I once again click on the channel name, click on the media control uh, symbol, and now we have the send bus uh, control. So click on learn and I'm going to use, sorry, I'm going to use this one, this encoder. So as you can see, now I have the send amount up to that. Now I'm going to map some controls from dub station. So I click on the channel where dub station is, channel three, click on the media control symbol, and you can see that I have the dub station parameters there. So click on there, and I want to control the feedback this encoder and the delay time with 
that is the code here. Oh, apparently, as you can see, this symbol here warns me that that control is already mapped to something else. So I'm going to use um, this other control here. Also, I want to um, map the tempo sync uh, on and off to this button right here. So now it's there. Now, I'm going to show you this. As you can see, um, what I want, uh, well, the way it's working right now is tempo sync is off. Then I press this button and it turns it on. So what I want to do is to turn it off every time I play like that. And if you go to the MIDI control panel or uh, tab, you can see that the tempo sync does not have a invert option. But what we can do is click on range and then instead of from 0 to 100 we can change that to 100 to 0. And now it stays on and every time I press the, bu the button it turns it off. So let's see how that sounds. Okay. And that range function works for also for the faders. So let's say that um, whenever I move the volume or change the volume for trick track, I don't want it to go all the way up or all the way down. So you can change the range. You go to the MIDI, con MIDI control symbol and then in the volume control, you click on that and you have the range setting so let's put let's put that at 2250 so even though my control is all the way down you can see it, the uh, it doesn't the volume doesn't go all the way down and even if I turn it up all the way if I turn my encoder up all the way the volume in trick track stays at 50%. So that's pretty useful too. Thank you very much for watching.